Hey everybody, this is Jordan Davis again. Thank you for clicking on this video and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, I am a graduate student at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill who loves reacting to Eurovision past and present. Usually I film in my living room and I'm going to when I react, but I was taking a walk right now so I figured why not just film the introduction while I'm out for a walk. So anyway, if that sounds like something that interests you, um, and if you like this video that you're about to watch, then please subscribe. I'm in the middle of a reaction series that I'll link to above if you wanna hear me talk a little bit more about that. Um, but I also take reaction requests, so to national selection entries or to non-Eurovision songs by Eurovision artists, um, really a lot of different songs. Um, and I'll definitely get those on the list. I read every comment, so I'll definitely see it. But anyway, so if that sounds like you're some, like something you'd be interested in, please subscribe. Um, please like this video because as always, every like really helps me. And please comment below because I love engaging with y'all to hear your thoughts on these songs that we're reacting to, whether they're entries or not. So anyway, that's all outside Jordan has to say. Now let's fast forward to inside Jordan, who's actually gonna watch this video. Hey everybody, I'm back from my walk. Um, I am exhausted because I walked much further than I probably needed to. But you know what? There's nothing wrong with a little bit of exercise. So I'm happy about it. But also I'm tired because I shaved my head tonight, if you couldn't tell. Um, which just takes such a long time because I'm not good at it yet. So I, I like to be careful so I don't really cut myself up. Anyway, did that, took a shower, ate all that. But anyway, I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be reacting to another song. So, we are continuing with our off week for Eurovision 2006. And tonight we are continuing with another song that y'all wanted me to react to. It's a song that I am excited to react to because Hint, hint, y'all know I love Poland. I love Poland and Eurovision. I love my Polish Eurovision friends. And I, again, Poland is one of those places. Hey, look out for me after this coronavirus is over because I'm coming to visit y'all. But anyway, the song I'm reacting to came in 25th place. So we're, again, going in a sequence. We did 27th place, 26th place. Now we're 25th place. And it is Poland with Ich Troja, or sorry, Iktroya is the group and Follow My Heart is the song, I believe. So, I'm so excited to get into this. Let's just go ahead. Poland is underrated in Eurovision most years and so I'm expecting this to be good. I'm trying to remember where this came in relation to like the cutoff for qualification. Like was, was this the entry that was closest to qualifying but didn't? Or was there another one above it? I can't remember. So anyway, you can let me know that in the comments though if you want. I would look it up, but I'm already in the middle of this. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. I am so excited. Let me make sure my volume is down. Here we go. Put my other headphone in to experience this. I like that ethnic, like, string instrument sound. Maybe it's not ethnic. I don't know. Okay, masquerade. We're having a whole masquerade ball on stage. Where is he in the, is he in the audience? Did he say gasolina like the Daddy Yankee song? Why is his hair so green? I mean, clearly it's on purpose, but like, does it mean something? Oh, his voice. Oh, it's textured. I like that. This is kind of epic. This is kind of epic. I like the white and gold color scheme. It makes it all seem more regal. So is she signing, I'm assuming? Oh, he's still in the audience. <laughs> I thought he was gonna make his way to the stage. I just love this 
this woman in the left corner who's just, whose dress is really blowing in the wind. Okay, her mask is off. So these two are having like a duet. So this is in Polish now, right? Oh, Polish is so beautiful. So clearly there's a story being told here and I'm really interested. Oh, key change. I like her holding the mask. She's just flowing so gracefully. Oh, did they really kiss? Good for them. <laughs> oh, she's pregnant, I think. Oh, I was wondering why he ripped her <laughs> half of her outfit off. That's so cool. Good for them. They must really be in a relationship, huh? I hope they're still together. Yo, that was fun. That was just like... I probably didn't, I probably talked a lot, but didn't say much because I was trying to work through that because there were so many pieces to that and I really enjoyed it. There was definitely a story being told. I don't exactly know what that story is, but they were conveying some sort of message. Clearly the two who look like a couple in real life, who probably are a couple in real life, were the main vocalists and they were engaging in this kind of back and forth duet throughout the performance. And then you have these two uh, female figures who, I know they're probably not spirits, but just the way that they kind of stood majestically at the front of the stage and kind of just, their outfits just blue. They seemed like kind of spirits, guides, you know, that they were some sort of higher, not higher power, you know, but you know what I'm saying, just some sort of entity that's, beyond human, looking at the story from a perspective above, um, guiding you through the story. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if his hair being green was like part of this or if his hair just was green and he just went with it. Um, so let me know if that meant something. And then the guy in the audience, he never left the audience. So <laughs> he just kind of did his um, spoken word parts, which added kind of a nice dimension to the performance, but I loved, loved the styling. I loved that white and gold, um, I don't even know what period you would say that came from. I do know, I just can't think of it while I'm on camera, but that white and gold masquerade, like classical type of dress, I really, really liked that styling. And I think it helped not only so not only did the song tell a story, and not only did their actions and movements tell a story, but I feel like their outfits, their styling, set you in the story. So it was not just a story that you had to imagine. You could actually watch it happening because their outfits were congruent with um, what was being told, whatever that might have been. So let me know what this was about, if you could tell me in a little bit of detail, because I like hearing it from y'all, because you usually know. Um, a lot of the nuances to performances that even like Google doesn't know. So let me know what it was about, but I thought that was really just really fantastic and really enjoyable to watch. So again, if you like this video, please like this video. It does help me out a lot. Comment below your thoughts on this song. Do you think it should have qualified? I I think it should, I'm, I'm leaning toward, yeah, I think it should have qualified. Um, and then also, if you like my reactions and you want to see more or you want to continue to see them, then please subscribe. I'm going to keep doing more and I will keep taking requests. So, you know, while I'm stuck in the house, you might as well. But anyway, thank you again for watching this video. And as always, I'll see you next time.